Hey everybody, this is Chewy Plays Nintendo, and today I have a question. Can you spoil Animal Crossing? This is a topic Sergio and I discussed on our podcast, Haken, an Animal Crossing podcast. If you haven't listened to it, it's your hour of Animal Crossing discussion every single Tuesday. Anyways, we brought up the topic and asked what we would each consider a spoiler for Animal Crossing. The reason this came up is because we're getting really close to more news for Animal Crossing New Horizons. We don't know how much we're going to learn, but if I had to guess, it would be a lot more than we already know. Generally, what we know is the very beginning of the game. We move to a deserted island, clean it up a bit, craft some furniture with the resources we find, and build up our town from scratch. There's still a lot we don't know about, specifically pretty much everything else. I'm sure asking if Animal Crossing can be spoiled is a strange question. It's not exactly a story-driven game, and there isn't really much to spoil. Even if you learn something you didn't know before, people play so differently that knowing any piece of information often doesn't dampen the experience. New Horizons is a very unique Animal Crossing game. This is the first game that will be releasing on the same day in Japan, North America, and Europe. The closest we'd ever gotten to an event like this was Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival. New Leaf was a long, arduous wait for many fans. It was revealed in E3 2010 and wasn't out in all regions until 2013. Meanwhile, Japan had the game nearly 8 months before the rest of the world did. There was very little information from Nintendo about the game, and many of us watched footage fans posted of Japanese versions on YouTube. Shout out to Lin & Co. If you're out there, we'd love to have you on the podcast. For many of us, the wait and the lack of news left us thirsting for content, so we watched the few videos on the game as much as possible. I didn't care about how much I knew about New Leaf before it came out, I was just happy to know anything. I watched every piece of content without a worry of something being spoiled for me. After the wait, I did find myself wondering if I knew too much about New Leaf. I also wondered if it would stop me from getting into the game when I finally played. Those worries were not an issue, I played New Leaf for over a thousand hours like it was nothing. Even though I had seen a lot of New Leaf, the way I played and the decisions I made were so different from other players that my experience was unique. I'm sure many of you feel that way. That's why we still enjoy watching Let's Plays of the game and seeing other towns. It's very satisfying getting a look into somebody else's life. We get to see and enjoy different decisions they make for their town. We can find some inspiration from others' creations, or experience a style we don't find right for our own towns. Fundamentally, the gameplay behind Animal Crossing is about expression, and we are free to express ourselves. And, with the communication-driven nature of the game, as well as YouTube and videos about the game, we're free to experience others' self-expression. On the podcast, we did talk about what we'd consider spoilers, or things we'd rather not know before the game comes out. Sergio said he didn't want to hear all the hourly music before he got to hear it for himself in the game. I said I didn't really want to see the holiday events. Personally, I like going into the events not knowing how to win and failing the first couple of years. I like the anticipation of strategizing after failing at an event and thinking about how to do it the following years. Animal Crossing is a game I spend years with, so I'm in no rush to figure everything out the first time around. To me, the pleasure comes from experiencing failure and looking forward to the next opportunity to right those wrongs. The gameplay comes with a lesson that says, Bad times are just times that are bad, and not every time needs to be bad, sometimes need to be good as well. We can improve and the outcomes can change when we try again. Overall, we felt that the variety of choice people have to play the game leads to a game that doesn't have too much to spoil. It becomes more of a collective experience that we can learn from as well as teach others about. So, with new information on the horizon, I thought I'd ask viewers and listeners if there was some information regarding New Horizons that they'd rather not know. Here's some of their answers. Sarah Nova on YouTube said, I prefer not to know about some of the events, especially Halloween fall events, as those tend to really be the best. I also dislike being spoiled about the beginning, as it is always this really cute cutscene. Other than that, I'm usually fine with spoilers like special villagers, works projects, seasonal changes, etc. Skittlecat on YouTube said, Right now, I don't want to know the fastest way to earn bells so I can take the game a little slow. LisaFox123 on Instagram said, 
I kind of want any new animals slash new animal types to be a surprise. It would be exciting to suddenly see a new name move in, and then find out it's a never before seen character. At the same time, I think releasing any new animal species would really hype up the game. Lampshade on Instagram said, what I wouldn't want spoiled is the opening scene on the plane. I want to experience that entirely firsthand. Sunshine on Twitter said, I'm torn, but part of me wants to go in completely blind and the other part wants any news they give us. Ultimately though, I don't want to see new or fully upgraded shops or houses. And I hope they don't share every step of progression or any new holidays. I want there to be surprises. David on Twitter said, I'm open to any and all gameplay details, but unlockables not shown by the devs would be a spoiler to me. I'd prefer not to see fully expanded houses or shops before I get there in my own game. Finally, I want to highlight this answer from GuppyG on YouTube. She said, Whatever Nintendo tells us is probably not too much of spoilers. Heck, they barely give us anything. And she is completely right. They barely tell us anything, and we would certainly not mind a direct right about now. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I wanted to know all of your thoughts. Do you think Animal Crossing New Horizons can be spoiled? Are there things you don't want to know about this game before you play it and experience it yourself? Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you all next time. Bye!